Hello again. In this video, let's have a look at how to auto start programs using the registry. It's very straightforward. All you need to do is go here, type in reg edit, okay, and then run that and you'll get this window. Okay, where you need to go, let's just make this a little bit bigger so that we can see, is if we want to do it for basically all users on the computer, you go to H key local machine, then click on software, then click on Microsoft, then click on Windows, current version, then it's run. And basically, if your computer has lots of programs auto running, auto starting, they'll basically be over here. This is a fresh install, so there's absolutely nothing, and we just created one over here. And all you need to do is to create one is go over there, new, create a string value, okay, and then give it any name you want, for example, calculator. Okay, that'll automatically, every time you start up, the calculator program will start, and then basically. Modify, and then give the location in the speech marks of where the calculator program is. So for example, if it's in C Windows, it'll be speech marks, C backslash Windows backslash C-A-L-C dot E-X-E. Okay, if that's the location. And click OK. And every time you start up your computer, these programs will run. Notepad will start up. Calc will, the calculator will start up. Okay. If you don't want something to start up, you just right click on it and then delete. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to do it, for example, just the current user only, you go into H key current users. Okay. And then it's basically the same as before. Okay. Which is basically software. Okay. Then it's Microsoft. Okay. Then it's Windows. Then it's current version. Then it's basically run. And that's for the current user. For example, they already have something, OneDrive starting up on it. Okay. You could basically create a new one, add it on there. Okay. Just as we did before, or you could delete things. If you want to do it for specific users, what we need to do is basically go to H key users, then choose their SID, their security ID, okay, based on whichever one, and it's the same location within it. So it's basically software, Microsoft, and then you go to Windows, okay, current version, find run. And then basically you can add or delete items in here to start up. Okay, hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.